four kilometers of his position. Nine men dead, killed by their own side. The day it happened, the men of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers put their loss to one side and did carry on. Since then, an inquiry has been underway into how they died. In the meantime, the relatives of the dead have been given conflicting information as to what happened. The men were killed when an American A-10 tank buster plane fired a missile at their vehicle by mistake. General Horner of the U.S. Air Force has blamed a British forward controller for the incident, alleging he told the A-10 pilots there were no friendly forces nearby, but analysts think that's an oversimplification. The British armoured vehicles were marked with inverted V's on their sides and day-glow panels on the top to make them easily identified from the air. The inquiry underway will be assessing whether this marking had become in some way obscured. The infantry had just taken part in a battle when the tragedy happened. Such incidents are inevitable in war, according to the British Gulf War commander. General Sir Peter de la Billia told MPs today that the investigation will reveal the truth. I think that we must be very careful not to preempt what comes out of what is inevitably a very complex inquiry involving two nations uh, and thereby jump to conclusions that are wrong and which may cause unnecessary upset, and particularly, I think, to the families. Pressure is on the military to complete the investigation quickly so that the families of the dead finally know all the reasons why their sons died.